Right, good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Today I'm doing a new route in the new forest. It's been a long time since I've done a new route, but I'm excited to do something a little bit different. I'm Nick John's route, it's called uh, 45 miles to God Hill. I think so, that's around 75k. Uh, big climb, well, for, for new forest standards. At the halfway point roughly, and then it'll be all downhill back home. If you haven't already, please do check out the video from yesterday. It was a big uh, KOM attempt I did around in the new forest area. And it got quite close to the end, so I'm not going to ruin the result. So, uh, yeah, check that out before watching this one. So far, the route has been quite recognisable. If I can play my garment, because uh, it's been going to the local train station, which is which I know the route to basically. I have to say, it's really nice to do a bit of a different route for once. I'm used to doing the same stuff, you know, the loop to Crow Hill, which the KOM attempt was on. Funny, there's a Harrow Road on this loop, and there's also a very famous Harrow Road in London, which is also, I think. At least it may be close to my Richmond loop, so yeah, that's funny. Garmin is working a treat with the route. Always been quite reliable in that sense, so that's really good. I like, can rely on that if you don't know the route, don't know where you're going. But now it's time for a new addition to the show. And now for everybody's favourite part of the show, the weather. Hosted by me, Marcus and Jesse. No, 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 no. The weather. The weather. Yeah? The weather. Yeah? In terms of weather today, it is looking quite cloudy, very, very overcast in typical England fashion. It's about 14, 13, 14 degrees, so that's pretty consistent. At least it's not raining and uh, not too hot, not too cold. I'm obviously in shorts, me being me. These roads actually really remind me of riding in Wigan, which I did a couple of months ago. Probably because I'm used to riding in the city, where it's just cars and buildings, but I guess it's just typical country lane sort of thing, so. Not necessarily a huge connection with Wigan, but just reminds me of that. Go past some, uh, some horses. which is where GCN's Dan Lloyd lives. So he knows all these local roads, which is pretty cool considering, you know, I've done quite a fair bit of riding here. So yeah, he's mentioned it on GCN a couple of times about the local roads and it's funny, you know, when you know about them or no particular stretches he's referring to. Anyhow, on the uh, on the brunch menu, we have got two Nutty Crisp bars, which are absolutely delicious. Love a bit of chocolate and nuts. Coming over a motorway, or at least an A road, I think. 16.4k uh, in, just gone over the half hour. When it gets to about 30k, it should get really bumpy. Only about 450 meters of climbing, I think, on this on this route. But it's all concentrated in the middle, so that's going to be a real punch. But at least it's downhill on the way back. Look at the colour here. Look how orange. Look how sort of burnt that is. It's really nice. The views are so good here. Just look at that. Do not get that in central London. Fished into the new forest, I think. Or at least like the very new foresty part, if that makes sense. Right, so I'll just stop here to appreciate the silence, the nature, and also try and get a cool shot. Uh, riding on the bike. So I'm going to put the GoPro on one of these uh, wooden bits. Hope oh, that looked cool. Now on with the ride. It's so over 30k in now, so about 7.5k until the halfway point. And I haven't had any of these uh, these climbs, so I'm starting to wonder where they are. But I'm sure as soon as I put the camera away, the road will be pitching uphill. In fact, is that uphill over there? Possibly. I know I'm having one of those, oh my god, look at the view, it's amazing sort of moments, but oh my god, look at the view, it's amazing. How sick is that? A lot better views than on the uh, the Crow Hill loop. Not that that's bad by any means, but you know this is just something else. I think this is uh, on par, if not better, 
than the views in uh, in Bavaria from the Germany video. That is precisely halfway on the ride. No proper climbs yet, so yeah, we'll have to see when they come. Can't be too far away. I saw a five and a half mile sign for God's Hill a little while back, so I'm sure they're coming soon. That's just vertical. Look, 25%. Me. Oh dear. Go right, donkey. Firmly on the way back now, just going back over this motorway thing here. Uh, about 20, 25k to go. Thankfully it's mostly downhill now because I'm starting to feel pretty knackered, even though it's only been about 50k. Right now we're back on route where I recognise it. And this was actually the last stretch of the KOM from the video yesterday. That's actually what it all came down to in the end, so check it out if you haven't already. Sorry for saying it for the second time, but I think it's probably one of the better videos on the channel. Last UK now, been a really, really nice ride, doing some new roads, some beautiful views. Anyway, gonna go through the data now. Right, we are now back from the ride. It's actually two days later. Here are the stats. Two hours, 17 minutes for 71.6K. So a half decent pace of 31.22 kilometers an hour. Maximum speed of 53.44, some nice little descents, or really just downhill parts of the rollers. Average power of 216 and a normalizer at 236. Stress score of 132, which is fairly decent, I think. 1,787 calories, which I reckon is about three Big Macs. Really awesome ride, great to try out some new routes. Here is the map on screen. And if you'd like to, you can go and follow me on Strava. Link will be in the description. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next video.